from the creators of the hardest game ever. Oh my, oh my god, this is so hard. And also, you can you can press some keys to change the colors. I'm th this is great. And also, like it's kind of buggy. I mean, I, I don't think that's supposed to. Happen. Do you feel part of this community? No, you don't? Okay, well, that you just broke my heart. But basically, we have a Discord. If you want to meet up and talk with me and tell me every, everything you want, I guess, yeah. There is a Discord, like, in the description. Can you please ch check it out? I, I need to reach, like, 100 members. Like, come on. I need to do it because it's a, it's a personal accomplishment, okay? From the creators of the Sokoban editor that makes you edit some, some Sokoban's puzzles and create them because, you know, that's... Uh, what we always wanted to do. Oh my god, guys, I created a Sokoban puzzle. I really want to solve it. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Solved it. Easy. Well, the same nerd that created those two games is bringing you the Switch, a spooky game. Okay, Google. Hang on while I get connected to Wi-Fi. Wait, what? Okay, Google. Play Spooky Scary Skeletons by the Living Tombstone. Oh my god, this is gonna be so no, amazing. just no. What? Wait, why not? Well, but anyways, this is a cool game, and what can you do, you may say? Nico, what do you have to click? Okay, this is a lever. Okay, don't, don't worry about it, okay? I'm really good at designing stuff. I know this looks like a lever, and I know that it is a lever. So, so you click on the lever thingy, and then it's gonna say, Be patient. Don't, don't wake him up. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. What, what does that mean? Uh, I, I don't know. Six and a half hours later. This is taking too much time, honestly. And then, the lever appears again, and then you have to click it again. I'm so scared, guys, I don't wanna do it, man. Like, literally, right now, I'm like, oh my gosh, so much adrenaline running through my veins. Because I really don't wanna press this thing. Oh my gosh, I gotta do it. Am I gonna do it? It doesn't do anything, yet. But yeah, anyway, that's a game I've been working on, and I will continue working on. I plan on releasing that, actually. It's gonna be my, really... My first real game, okay? And also the link to all these games is gonna be found in the description. I'm gonna update the link when I update the game. So you will always be able to check them out. And even the updated version. Because I use GitHub pages, which is actually pretty good. But yeah, without further ado, we're gonna check out a Sokoban that someone created for me. Here you go. Oh my god, this is so long. It's gonna take a while. Oh my god, this took so long to do. But finally, we made it. Okay, I swear, if I lose right now, I'm gonna be so angry. Okay, I should do a better way to like load and save some schematics, but I, I have no idea how to do that, I'm not a good developer. <laughs> I just did some jank game, look how jank this is. I swear if I touch a wall and I die, <laughs> I'm gonna be so angry. Okay, probably I have to bring this over to here. What the heck just happened? That was not supposed to happen. Did you see that? I just, I just went through the blow. Okay, well that's great. <laughs> good to know that my game is stupid. Uh, what am I even doing? Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Okay, now we have to go down here. We probably have to push this here. And we almost completed it. Ha, get right, I'm good at this game. Yeah, but please, 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 create your own Sokobans and then send me photos of them so I can spend hours upon hours on recreating them on this game just to play them in three seconds because I'm really good. Okay, but seriously though, what do we do for the rest of the video? I, I, I'm out of content, guys. Well, I guess let's load up Unity and let's show how I created the Sokoban game. No, basically, it's, it's really simple. Amazing, oh my gosh, how did you do an editor inside the game? This is so hard, you like recreated Minecraft. No, I'm just I didn't do that. Basically, the only thing that I did was using these little things right here. I forgot how they're called. Uh, oh yeah, prefabs. Now, basically, prefabs are like game objects in Unity. So, as you can see now, if we get like a normal thing, as you can see, we have this thing, okay? It's pretty huge, actually. We can make it even huge. Okay, look at that, now it's really big okay this thing is here but you know we can add some components to it now components are whatever you want okay we can add some gravity so we can do like rigid body to this so now if we do this and we press on play it's gonna fall basically I, it, yeah it's gonna fall that's great it's great when it works okay you go on full screen thank you so much so basically you can add components but when you do place again when you place another one as you can see this one it's not gonna be as big as this one and also it's not gonna have the components so it's not gonna fall so we want to store all of the components so we can place multiple of these blocks because you know doing ctrl c and ctrl v is kind of a pain and also for the game that we are doing we need the player to create some blocks so how do you do this well easy peasy with prefabs uh how, how do you create a prefab i forgot oh. oh yeah from here game, game object 
Uh, maybe from here? I I don't know. Oh, now I remember. From here. As you can see, we can go create. And then, uh, uh, where, where is it? Oh, yeah, prefab. I, I'm really blind. Okay, so now we're gonna have a prefab. We can call it the greatest pre pre prefab ever. Okay, I'm really good at spelling, by the way. So now we can get, as example, another player. We can get a wall, okay? But this wall is gonna be a special wall because it's a, it's a little bit stupid, okay? It's not gonna be a normal wall, but it's gonna be a wall that falls. It's gonna fall really slowly, so we're gonna put a gravity scale of 0 0.1. I, I don't know if that is gonna work. I think it's a float, so it should work. <laughs> and then, we basically... Uh, I'm gonna add more stuff. That's to show that you can do more stuff. I'm gonna also add an box because why Why not? We're gonna also tag it and we're gonna target a wall. So when we collide with it, we're gonna lose. We're gonna put it up here so we can destroy us. And we're gonna do it is trigger, I think. So, you know, because I, I don't know, I think I used the trigger uh, collisions in my script, so we need to do a trigger. What else? I, I think we're good for now. But now, if we do play, in theory, if the game is working, when the, the thing hits me, I'm gonna lose. N nothing happened. Okay, well, that's great. Of course, because I'm in editing mode. But if I press space, I'm gonna go in normal mode. And, okay, I die because there are no blue things. Okay, give me a sec. Oh my god, it's so hard. No, 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 okay. But as you can see, if I touch it and I'm not in edit mode, I'm gonna die. This works, but what if I wanna do another one? Then this one is not gonna fall because it's a default one and I hate it. So basically, how do you do this? Well, you take the wall from here, you just grab it and put it with your force inside the prefab. And look at that, now we have a little cute prefab. And by putting this here, we can create more objects. And as you can see, they're gonna be blue because they're stupid. No, because they have already all of the, compa uh, the components ready. So now we can put all of the objects here, and now if we do play, it's basically gonna. I, 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 yeah, they are all gonna fall. Uh, in, oh my god, it's actually a pretty cute game. Yeah, except I cannot die because I'm not in, in play mode. But yeah, but you may say, Nico, how do you create prefabs from the game? Like, how can the player initialize a prefab from inside the game? So as you can see now, if I press space, I'm gonna place a block. The block that I pre place is actually a prefab. But how can I initialize it via script? And so it's pretty simple, we just go to the script, the player control script that I created for the player. And as you can see, if I go there, there's like a, a little command that basically tells me, uh, take the prefab that's here and put it here, instantiate. <laughs> And basically, instantiate the name of the thingy thing that you want. So in my case, it's a wall. And then, at the position of the player, because you know that's what we want. And I actually don't know what this is. I I I I think it's a mode. Oh wait, we can actually read. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, the rotation. Okay, that's the rotation. So basically, it takes the rotation of the player. It takes the position of the player. That's the green dot thingy, the green square. And then it basically initiates or, or whatever a wall that is the prefab that I created. So now, if instead of wall, we put another prefab and meeting this one the greatest I don't know if, oh my god oh yeah I'm actually oh my wait what oh did he just crash okay no 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 this can be wall I think this is a variable actually it, it may be up here yeah it's a transform so basically it's a public transform this means that we can set it from within the game because I made it a variable because I'm smart Look at that, so now if we go in the player and we go in the script, as you can see, at wall, that is gonna be the wall prefab. But if we replace it with this, then the game is gonna suddenly more be more stupid. Because, you know, when I place a wall, it's gonna be that huge thing that is gonna fall on the ground and it's gonna be crazy. So now, now, now we're gonna check it out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, okay, this is taking a while. So, guys, uh, how, how was your day? Like, I, 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 I have to do some small talk. I mean, I'm an introvert, so it's, it's a little bit hard. But you know, how, how was your day? Uh, how is the weather? Um, what else can I tell? Uh, um, I, I don't know, can, can you please load? Come on, this is awkward. Please! So yeah, that's really cool. And yeah, yeah, re really, come on, please load. Please, game, you're putting me in an awkward spot right now. Like, please, simply do it, okay? So that hard. I know I modified something from the script, so now you're gonna take a while because they're bad. Please, Unity, please load. Yay, finally it worked! So now, if we create a wall, boom, it's gonna be that huge thing. We can create how many we want by just pressing space in-game. We are creating more objects, and, you know, we could basically lag the entire game if we create a lot. Look at this, for some reason, like, uh, not for some reason, because I'm a pro. Look at that, you cannot make an object inside an object, so now I'm pressing space and it doesn't work. I have to be outside the object, so that. Did you know you could actually glitch the game? Look at that, look at this. If I place this, okay, and then I, 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 I go to a wall, okay, if I place a, blo a wall with space, okay, that happens, I, I'm sorry. But if we place like this, okay, if we place it like this, see, here, I'm still placing them, but I'm placing them inside. Uh, as you can see, now I place them here, but as you can see, if I make it really fast, I'm gonna be able to place it inside the block. So as you can see now, if we do play, 
That is gonna be. It was already inside the block. Yeah, as you can see. Yeah, that's how you place a block inside a block. Now I did a little bit of a check. Okay, so you cannot place a a blue block inside another block. So if you try, you're gonna just get deleted because you know it's a little bit, just a little bit on the still side because it would bug out. Because as you know, wait, what the heck? Okay, as you know, if you put a block inside another block, you just lose. So you know, I I made it. Yeah. I, I didn't make you able to do that because you know that would be silly. So take there are four blocks it says, but really there are only two. I would. There one is inside of the other. And now if you do play, as you can see, they're not gonna go away. But as soon as you as you move one, they're all gonna go away. Wait, what? That never happened before. Shh, you saw nothing, okay? The game is not bugged. The game works. The game is amazing, okay? You you saw literally nothing. Also, did you know that you can press R to restart? You know that? That's a crazy, like that. That's a crazy thing, mind blowing. Anyways, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I mean, it was kind of different. I mean, this is the second video on my channel, so I there cannot be that much. Uh, I mean, I mean, I guess I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on this video because you know I it was really amazing to make and it, it took a lot of effort. Yeah, but yeah, this was it, and I hope you really enjoyed. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video of Unico Dev.